All right, so, uh, Smile, you read the title, uh, we're just gonna be playing some Cursed Roblox games. This is the first one. Oh, this was actually found on my recommended, uh, this was found on my recommended a few days ago. I played it once and it was an experience. So, I mean, now I kind of just want to make a video dedicated just to the cursed games of Roblox. So, you spawn in that room over there, you walk through this type of door, you keep going until you go through another one. And then you go down this dirt path. Uh, you can press shift to sprint, by the way, if you want to visit the game. Uh, you can also, you can just know that, but also I'll link it in the description because no way you are going to be able to find that game just by searching it up. It is literally impossible, those letters. All right, so come to the end of the path and then yes, uh, yeah, it's very loud. So just gonna turn down the volume for it. Yeah, that thing attempts to chase you. It's really slow though, so yeah, it's not that much of a challenge. And then once you reach the end, you just fall. And you get in here, you see whatever those are. See that thing, hands. And then normally you'd think you just keep walking down the path and end up in the middle of this satanic uh, circle thing, pentagram. But nope, you actually gotta walk over to the staircase, go behind it, and then, hold on, then go through a door that's hidden there. You go into this room on the left. There's, there's gonna be a knife in here. Uh, you, you're gonna hold out the knife, go to this door, do the mcclick. Yes, I did watch the walk through on how to do this uh, some of this uh, these guys they they say stuff grab it and go we have stuff to do uh, you can just do whatever you want with that like say everything it has to say and then that just goodbye and then you head out now you have the key, which this is all you actually need, need now. So you're gonna you're gonna pull out the key, go there, then you're just gonna oh wait up oh, did I do it? Oh no, I got stuck. Oh no. Uh oh, spaghettio. Nope. All right, yeah, there we go. So you're just gonna wanna move. All right, yeah, that very loud sound. I actually took off my headphones because I've heard it before. It is not a good sound. Hopefully my OBS audio is very quiet because uh, it would just be ultimate pain for you. Oh yeah, uh, once you go over to the waterfall, you climb up this, you can talk to the rock guy. He just kind of gives you a hint on where to go. He says off the beaten path. And then you go behind him over here onto this path. And you just kinda kinda walk for a bit, so I'll just be back when I when the walk is over, I guess. Okay. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore that that happened. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. All right. So after a lot of, after a lot of time, I finally made it to the end. Uh, 
So if you talk with this guy, you're gonna regret it a lot because he just keeps doing the dot and does it for a long time. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna run down here. And then once you get teleported, I believe this is where you find the blue key. But you don't, like I don't actually know where the blue key is. So, and I'm too lazy to watch the walkthrough and also I'm not gonna make this video 30 minutes long just to show you how to beat this game. No, I'm just gonna show you that, hey, I think the blue key's in here. If you wanna watch a walkthrough, search it up. And then this is the portal back. Actually, is there a key over here? Key over here, no, okay. Oh right, yeah, you get sent back. Man, now, this game actually, believe it or not, is linked to other cursed games because you go through this door that says Cheeky. And then you get sent here. You walk forth. And then at the end of this road, there is this portal that uh, teleports you to um, like kind of a hub full of cursed games. So you enter that, and you get sent to the game called Mugen. And once you get there, uh, you have to enter a painting. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, for this one, I'm just gonna enter this one. And this one is called the Man of Seven Shingles. So you start off by just walking around, you turn off these lights, uh, the guy makes weird sounds as he moves, so like... Like that. Yeah. Use the tape measure to push out the wall, or you can just body push it. Like, like this. You can just body push the wall out. And then... You just enter this wheel and take a fairly long wheel ride so I'll just be back when that's done all right now once you get to the end these guys are gonna be very loud when you go down so also you hold out the tape measure Up. All right, we're in this new game called like Vesta Siege or something. I don't know. But the objective of this game is to get that ball with the face on it over onto that circular dent in that platform. And you can't get hit by that ball. So you gotta you know, just make sure you don't get hit. Like, oh yeah, and also if the ball hits you it crashes your game so you'll have to force quit it so it's not the best idea to get hit by that ball and also just note that any of these all of these games are very loud or at least most of them so just just keep that in mind before you play them because I do not want to be responsible for anyone who has their ears bleed because I didn't tell them. I should probably put it in like the description or something just so I don't get, uh, just so I don't lose subs. Yep, I, I've, I care deeply about my subscribers. I will tell them that. Because I am a good human being. All right, so once you get the ball on that thing no all right yes it crashes your game and then 
it's got to force quit it, but once you get the ball in there, it does like, uh, you know, I'll just voice over it in the commentary. All right, so once you get into the then the attacking ball loses like half of its health, and then you have to go through some other challenges, and then the gate opens, and you can leave, and then probably do some other challenges, and that's about it. I'm not gonna waste my time doing that since I've never actually gotten there after like a few hours of playing the game total. So, yeah, you can do that if you want, but I'm not really going to do it. Alright, so the last game I'm going to play of this hub thing is called Cilantro Salami or something. I don't really know. You play as this ball guy with like flaming eyes or something. Pretty sure you also get... Uh, your game crashed if you lose here so oh no and yep that's already the fattest L ever I'm not letting it kick me all right we're back at it just trying to play the game again no 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 don't get oh that's done all right let's try to do this I'm gonna speed run it no 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 and I lost again. All right, for real, this is the actual last time. I'm just gonna speed run it. No, do not. No. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So those are all the games that I'm going over in uh, this place. So if you want to check it out, it'll be linked in the description. Go to the other games. There are like a couple I left out. And you see, you actually, a game doesn't have to be creepy to be a cursed game on Roblox. It can actually just be a weird game like this called Blamo. It was made a long time ago. But yeah, you'll see, if you haven't played it, you'll understand why it's cursed. Then you press any key to start. I. I think it might just be space. Then you spawn in this world next to a train. Uh, you get a catalog to pick from there. And then you hop on the train. Yeah, once you spawn in the train, it says next stop, Eistead Meme Cove. And then the train will take you to another place. It'll teleport in a few seconds. Oh yeah, and the controls are put into the uh, game description, like X is to go into third person, and then option, uh, no, option, control on a Mac, that is, control on a Mac is uh, to, I don't remember what it is, but it looks like squat, squat, I don't know. All right, so, so then you spawn in the next place and you get here. Uh, I'm just going to get some wings for demonstration. You nod up and then you get wings. You just jump and then you can fly distances. Actually, do you even, do you even need wings? Oh yeah, and you can talk to people sometimes, yeah, like that. Oh, I am a scientist, trust me, I am. I accidentally made ultimate reality portals around the beach. Please be careful or something bad will happen, I think. Okay. I've actually never been to this place, so let's go through this portal. Oh. Okay. Error 404. Yes. Dialog dot mpeg not found. Okay, I guess there is nothing here. What if I talk to him again? Alright, uh Oh yeah. 
Yeah, so this is that game. There's not really much else to say about it. It's just kind of the same thing as this. You hop on the train, and then you go to the next place, the Mushroom Village. So, uh, that's going to have to do it for today. I will see you in my next video, which hopefully I will post this week or next week, depending how lazy I am. Alright, see ya.